Hey folks, how's it going? It's Mark, that stranger from SeaWorld Earth. And as you've just seen today, I'm out on a boat. Now, a while back, some of you may have seen uh, one of my last videos. It all uh, dealt with the unboxing of what is called the PD-16, which is a 16 inch dome port um, that I use in conjunction with a surf housing in order to start doing um, split water shots and I've been doing that for the, since I got that video or since I got that um, dome port whenever the conditions and the weather allows uh, and as you can see by the following images it's had a varying amount of success check these out But as you can see, I'm in this stunning, stunning location that is uh, the Karama Islands. Now, if Okinawa is the paradise of Japan, then these Karama Islands are the paradise of Okinawa. Just look at this absolutely stunning water. Now I have come to the Karama Islands with a very specific goal uh, because here in the Karama Islands there are a lot of sea turtles and uh, what I'm hoping to do with that big super 16 inch dome port is to do a uh, split water shot with the, uh, with the sea turtles in this absolutely stunning water which looks just amazing. Now I have got an incredibly massive uh, trip coming up early next year that I so want to share with you guys but unfortunately I can't because my wife will kill me um, but keep it peeled because I'm hoping that what we can start to do is more uh, ocean related um, subjects and content in order to bring you adventures like this today is going to be a no frills video I'm just going to quickly show you uh, the gear that I'm using and uh, explain it a little bit jump in the water grab the shot and if I can I'm going to be heading home today it was only a two hour ferry uh, from where I live which is just stunning to have this on our doorstep um, but if not if I don't get the shot today I'm going to stay overnight and we'll go again tomorrow cool beans well unfortunately I have to live with this on my uh, on my doorstep how crazy is this place? Um, so yeah, yesterday, uh, it's the next day actually, yesterday I did have a bit of an issue with uh, rain and bad weather, unfortunately. Um, but uh, I did manage to get a few shots, so I'm gonna go in today. I've got four hours of snorkeling today <laughs> um, before I have to go back to my own uh, island as it were. Um, but hopefully we can share what I'm gonna do today. What I wanna do, quickly do is just run through, because I don't know how much battery I've got left on these mics, unfortunately. Um, what I'm gonna do is just run through and show you the dome port and just show, explain how it works. And then from there, we'll just end up with a, um, just with a medley, hopefully, of images that we've managed to shoot uh, during this stay in Zamami Island. 
Okay, well here it is. This is the PD16, the uh, the 16 inch dome port. You can see there's a little bit of condensation on it because I've I just pulled it out from the uh, apartment and it did have a little bit of um, air conditioning going, but that's no problem. As soon as I dump in the water, no worries. Okay, now you can see the massive profile of this dome port and I've got uh, fitted to the camera, I've got a Lauer 12 millimeter uh, f2.8, the zero distraction. Uh, it's the same lens that I do all of my uh, astrophotography with and my uh, Milky Way photo shoots. Um, the close distance of that lens is about 18 uh, centimeters. Okay, so what happens is when you're using a dome port in the water, what happens is it projects a virtual image just in front of the uh, dome port. And the, uh, the tough thing on this is trying to figure out how to uh, figure where your hyperfocal distance is because you don't want to, if your turtle's four meters away, for example, you don't want to focus on that. You want to focus on the, on the virtual image, which will be around just in front of the dome port. And it's all a matter of finding out how or where that distance is. Now, some really cool dude online has created this online uh, dome port calculator or hyperfocal uh, distance calculator uh, that I'll link to in the comments below. So what I've got at the moment is I've got this wide angle lens set to 50 millimeters or 50, uh, hold on, no, 50 centimeters, sorry. Uh, 50 centimeters, so that's around about here uh, off of this dome port and that should be for a full grown turtle, that should be more than enough. I've got the camera set up at um, F16, ISO uh, 1000. Um, which you might think is crazy on a, on a day like today, um, but that will force me to get a really nice high uh, shutter speed uh, because of the dense medium of the water. Um, it's gonna suck up quite a bit of light um, and I've got the AE shift set to um, minus one third. Okay, so it should be more than enough for, uh, uh, for us to get some uh, nice uh, images. Um, and you're wondering why I'm using F16. Well, because you do get water refraction and water refraction is like you know when you put a pencil in a in a glass of water you put it in and it looks like it's disjointed well refraction or using such a high focal uh, f-stop sorry it, with a dome port will correct that refraction and hopefully you won't get any issue with above and below elements lining up which is especially nice if we were lucky enough to get like a turtle coming up facing us looking out of the water so you got half his body underwater and you got his head on top and it doesn't look like his head is removed okay which is pretty cool um, so we're going to jump in now it's absolutely beautiful stunning conditions the tide's a little bit low but I, I think some people are actually looking at a turtle out there now so let's get out there and see what we can see um, now it's going to take a bit of a while for the dome port to get sorted and by that I mean it's quite disgusting but I have to spit on the lens uh, very very often um, on top so that when I lift the dome out of the water there's a thin film of water stays on the dome this way you don't get the little rivulets and dotlets of water um, on the dome and ruining ruining the image okay so I'm gonna get ready gonna get geared up um, and at the end of all of this hopefully there will be a nice little medley of images of things that I've taken today so uh, fingers crossed all good <laughs> guys to uh, if you haven't already to please do subscribe um, I am and I'll be the first one to say that I'm intermittent on uh, uploads every now and again but you know that's life everyone does it um, so please do feel free to uh, hit that subscribe button uh, and that way you'll be notified as and when new content is available from yours truly from such a wonderful place like to like this okay uh, I'm sure I'm gonna be coming back to these islands uh, to do some more stuff because I'm actually trying to sell these uh, above and below shots to resorts and things like that see if they want some promotional imagery or uh, for resorts because there's obviously loads of resorts out here but anyway that's by the by that's maybe for a future uh, a future um, podcast or future video uh, but for now I'm sweating my cobs off so it's about time that I go out and start taking some pictures I'll catch up with you soon <laughs> 